all right guys in this video i'll show you very interesting uh calculation so i'll show you exactly how we identify specific level uh to enter in this market right or i can say when we are going to trade in option so how we select the strike price so i'll show you by using uh, standard deviation i'll show you exactly how we can start here now i can see this one uh, uh reliance so let me show you when i'll try here uh suppose uh nifty okay now i can see here automatically uh, it is changing every data now i can see have you seen it and that this column is representing the closing price every day closing price so most of the people are asking me sir where i will get that closing price every day so just use this formula you will get this data and then i can see this is the rate of change in percent days and now this column is showing lower boundary or you can say supporting line and this boundary is just showing resistance line or you can say up, upper boundary so at that time we are using standard deviation it is the percentage uh, means here it's just showing 68 percent probability that price will stay in between these range 95 percent probability uh, price will stay in between this range and 99.7 percent probability that price will stay in between this range so first probability 68.3 this is called one standard deviation 60 uh, sorry 95.5 this is called two standard deviation and uh, 99.7 this is called three standard deviation by using this technique i'll show you how we identify support and resistance and entry and exit point and how we construct this uh, option uh, strategy or it may iron condor butterfly pattern or whatever okay i'll show you so let me show you first uh, the formula how we this one so first you just open your google account and then let me show you here this is my google account and go to here have you seen this area and click on there and just call them and have you seen this one google sheet so option will be here sheet right google sheet click on there and another option we have seen blank have you seen this blank and click on there now you can see this is the google sheet and after that you just uh, place this formula what is the formula let me show you okay let me zoom a little more here now you can see this is the formula is equal to google finance okay you just type on there what i am writing here you just type on there so let's see this one okay so what script you need you just change here so if you wanna find this data like uh, bank nifty you just write on here bank nifty if you wanna uh, know like reliance so write down reliance whatever tcs whatever you just write down in between this area all right you just remove this nifty and write there after that you just uh, write this formula all right okay this is the formula okay once you complete okay now you can see you can change everything suppose i want to change to bank nifty let me type here bank nifty bank all right already nifty are there click on there so loading all right now you can see this is the upper boundary uh, upper boundary and this is the lower boundary means okay let me continue uh, nifty okay write down only nifty Okay, this is the Nifty data. So whatever you want, so you just type on there. Now you can see lower boundary one standard deviation is showing like that here. Uh, 10,850. So let me show you more chart here. You can see 10,850. 10,850. Have you seen it? This is lower boundary. Okay. Next, upper boundary. Okay, where is there? Yeah. So upper boundary, eleven thousand two hundred ninety-eight, almost three hundred eleven thousand three hundred. Okay. So here you can see this area, eleven thousand three hundred, almost uh, round to the right. So means it is a probability by using standard deviation that uh, 
Monday price will stay in between this range. All right, price will stay in between this range first. Okay, this is the market range. So once we identify the market range, this is very easy to track in this market. All right, we can construct any option strategy by using this strategy. Okay, now uh, let me show you. All right, sorry. I can see what is the formula so lower uh, right down here standard deviation so what is the formula so formula is here you can see and write down this formula is equal average you just uh, type this formula okay see this is the lower boundary and this is the upper boundary formula so you see let me show you type like that okay type like that this is the upper boundary standard deviation formula okay next so this is the percentage all right change of percentage now you can see and this is the lower price where is the strike price all right in in like a real figure so how we'll find this figure this uh, 10,850 or sorry uh, 11,300 this figure how we get this figure so in that case you just use this formula this is the formula type like that okay I use 245 means uh, this is the row 245 and use this formula everything okay uh, this is lower price and this is the upper price now you can see this is the upper price formula let me show you this is the upper price formula I type this formula in google sheet okay now i can see here now this is called standard deviation all right standard deviation it look like that now what is the price let me show you exactly what is the price lower price let me put the lower price just a minute to our price this one. Copy and go to there. Okay. Center C. Okay, let me yeah, middle here. Now I can see this is the current price. Okay. Right now price is here. By calculating the standard deviation is just showing and uh, 68 percent a 68.3 percent probability that price will stay in between this area price will stay in between this area right now price is here and a 68.3 percent probability that price will stay in between this area so what is the price uh, lower boundary this is showing 10,850 okay this one and another upper boundary this is showing 11 let's say round figure 300 11,300 okay now you can see this is the range this is the range of this market okay this is the range so means we are expecting monday price will stay in between this range only so by using this formula we will we will construct the option trading strategy or whatever so means if price drop to this level so we are looking for buy in this area okay is a probability to reverse back again all right if price goes up to this level it is a probability uh, price will reverse back from this area because uh, according to the standard deviation this is the actual range of this market okay so let me remove this one all right you can see here now we have seen this one uh, uh this is the range so 
by using this data we can use uh, you can say iron condor how look like that iron condor i think you people know about that right iron condor is look like that okay iron condor is look like that this is the upper boundary and this is the lower boundary okay this is the lower boundary and this is the upper boundary this one this area lower boundary and this area is upper boundary okay by using standard deviation now i'll show you how we uh, identify the strike price by using the ib percentile and uh, i can say delta so okay here is the formula okay all right so now i can see this is the formula uh, so you just type like that formula i'll show you uh, this is current price what is the market actual current price and you use current IV and today ex uh, uh, tell expiry date all right and uh, this is the formula so you just type this formula use another Google sheet and use this formula all right okay this is the formula first this is the current price and next expected lower boundary so what is the formula expected lower boundary uh, this is the formula okay, this is the expected lower boundary formula and the third uh, expected upper boundary formula so let me show you this this is the formula have you seen this one formula you just create an excel sheet and uh, place this formula all right now second what is the current price? Check it. Suppose current price is 11.088. Okay. This is yesterday. Like the last closing price. Now see current IV percentile. Alright. So go to option chain NSC. We are selecting uh, nearest the uh, stack price. Let's say 11,000. Let me zoom a little more. 11,000. 50 all right this is the 11050 and i'll show you ib percentile 11050 where is the ib percentile ib percentile here you can see this one ib percentile 19.28 19.28 so okay now i'll apply here 19.28 you see 19 um 19.28 rb ib percentile so okay, just hold on and at end of a number of days how many days left okay so let's check it uh, we need to walk uh uh walking this or i can say market uh, monday one tuesday two wednesday third thursday four we have four uh trading day all right four trading days so that is why i place four now you can see expected uh, price move so means where is the price now suppose price is here one one zero eight eight nifty okay price are somewhere here eight eight and expected move means price may go up from this area to to three rupees or it may down to two to three rupees all right expected move so if price goes 223 rupees so what will be our stack price so stack price will be one eight six four sorry one zero one zero uh, uh sorry 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 just a minute just a minute i will check okay this is the upper boundary upper boundary is 11 uh, 300 11 000, almost 300 right this is the round figure 300 and the same 10,800 you can see lower 
we press drop 200 23 rupees our uh, support or lower boundary will be 10,800 50 10,800 round figure I am taking round figure 10,850 that is our lower price now I can see in a real chart have you seen 10,000 have you seen lower 10,852 here you can see 10,853 by using standard uh, sorry IB percentile and upper boundary here you can see 11,300 somewhere here 11,300 that is the perfect uh, you can say market uh, like uh, strike price where we gonna place our entry in this market so you just place this uh, formula uh, means uh, we buy so by using standard deviation and uh, you can say like IB percentile we find out sp uh, specific strike price so we'll place our buy order or we'll construct option trading strategy by using this uh, technique so I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching